Welcome back to Infigan friends. In this video, we are going to take up an interesting trigonometric equation. Equation is sec cube x minus 3 sec x equal to 2. I will demonstrate two methods to solve this problem. Method number one using factorization. Method number two using substitution. So let's get started by writing method number one and it is factorization method. So I will begin with sec cube x minus 3 sec x minus 2 equal to 0. Now I will split minus 3 sec x this term in terms of let me write sec cube x minus sec x minus 2 sec x minus 2 equal to 0. Now from first two term I will take sec x common and last two term I will take minus 2 common. So let me take sec x common. So in bracket I will be writing sec square x minus 1. And in second bracket if you will take minus 2 common out then in bracket it would be sec x plus 1. Right hand side is still 0. Now I will use one identity. It is a square minus b square here. So sec square x minus 1, let me write that identity first, a square minus b square is equal to a plus b times a minus b, difference of two squares. So our equation will become sec x in bracket, I will apply here, then I will be writing sec x plus 1, sec x minus 1 then minus 2 sec x plus 1 and right hand side is unchanged 0. Now you can see sec x plus 1 sec x plus 1 is common. Let us take common. So sec x plus 1 in bracket it would be sec x times sec x minus 1. So sec x times sec x minus 1 and here I will be writing minus 2. Right hand side is 0. Now let us expand. Sec x plus 1 is common. It is one solution. And see I will expand this one. Sec square x minus sec x minus 2 equal to 0. So this is one quadratic equation in sec x. Either we can apply quadratic formula or we can again go for factorization. Let me show how it is. Sec x plus 1 times sec square x minus sec x minus 2. Let me write here. Sec x plus 1 in bracket sec square x minus sec x minus 2 equal to 0. So you can apply here quadratic formula or you can go for factorization. Let me use factorization. Sec square x minus, here I can write minus sec x or better is to write plus sec x minus 2 sec x minus 2 equal to 0. From first two term, I will take sec x common. In bracket, it would be sec x plus 1. In second bracket, you can see minus 2 is common. So we will write sec x plus 1 again equal to 0. Let us take sec x plus 1 completely common. Sec x plus 1 out. What would be left? Sec x minus 2 equal to 0. So we have done the complete factorization of this cubic equation. Let me write here once sec cube x minus 3 sec x the original equation minus 2 equal to it is sec x plus 1 whole square see this one sec x plus 1 and see it is already sec x plus 1 so i will write sec x plus 1 whole square times sec x minus 2 and once you will put this equal to 0 you will be writing sec x equal to minus 1 minus 1 2 or 
we can write cos x because we know that cos x is 1 over sec x reciprocal of that. So minus 1 it will be same because denominator is 1 and here we will write half. So ultimately cos x is equal to minus 1 and cos x is equal to half. For this we will find out principal and general solution. So that formula we know. Now let me demonstrate method number 2. Then we will club both the solutions in one go the last part of the equation. Method number 2. Here I will give substitution. Let sec x is equal to a suppose. So I will write equation a cube minus 3a minus 2 equal to 0. This is a cube minus 3a equal to 2. Take 2 to the left. Now this is one cubic equation. You can see rational root theorem I will begin with. So plus minus 1 plus minus 2. The leading coefficient you can see it is plus minus 1. Now take the ratio. So find out the base solution. So let me put a is equal to 1. 1 is not solution. Let me put a equal to minus 1. So yes, minus 1 cube is minus 1. Minus 3 times minus 1 plus 3 minus 2. Yes, it is true. Making our equation 0. That means a equal to minus 1 is our base solution. Now I will use synthetic division method. So let me write here the coefficients of cubic equation. Cubic equation is a cube minus 3a minus 2 equal to 0. Coefficient of a cube 1. Coefficient of a square 0. Coefficient of a minus 3. Coefficient of constant term minus 2. Leading coefficient 1 as it is 1. 1 times minus 1. Minus 1. Minus 1. Minus 1 times minus 1. 1. Minus 2. Minus 1 times minus 2. 2. 0. Here we are having coefficients for quadratic equation. It is in a. So I will write a square minus a minus 2 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula. Minus b. So 1 plus minus under the root b square minus 1 square 1 minus 4ac plus 8 divided by 2a so 2. Now you can see 1 plus minus root 9 is 3 divided by 2. So if you will take plus sign then 4 over 2 2 minus sign minus 2 over 2 so minus 1. So one solution is a equal to minus 1. The remaining two solution is a equal to minus 1 and 2. What is our a? a is our substitution. a is sec x. So I can write our solution from here. That is, let me write here. sec x is equal to minus 1, minus 1, 2. Same way as we were doing in the method number 1. Now let us come to the principal and general solution. So I will write here sec x equal to minus 1, minus 1 and 2. So cos x is equal to minus 1, minus 1 and half. If you will talk about the principal solution, so I will write cos x is equal to half separately and cos x is equal to minus 1. So if you will write the principal solution, then I will be writing here cos x is equal to cos of pi by 3 radian. So x is equal to pi by 3. Now principal solution, so it will lie 0 to 2 pi. And if you will see the cosine term, then cos is positive in first and fourth because of this is positive. So first and fourth. So that means second solution is also possible for principal value that would be 2 pi minus pi by 3. It is equal to 5 pi over 3. In degrees if you will see this one is 60 degree and this one is 300 degree which is correct. Now come to the second equation. Principal solution let me write here principal solution we are talking about. 
then cos x is equal to i will write cos pi so x is equal to pi in radian or 180 in degrees okay now come to the general solution so general solution is very simple you will write x is equal to 2k pi plus minus pi by 3 for cos x is equal to 1 by 2 where k belongs to integer k belongs to integer this is our general solution now come to the cos x is equal to minus 1 general solution i will write x is equal to 2k suppose k dash it is k dash pi plus minus pi so this is our general solution for the equation cos x is equal to minus 1 multiplicity 2 so you can understand it is having infinite number of points i hope this video will be meaningful to you do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck and take care of yourself